coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm your host on Teaching with Board Games. It is September 4th, 2022. I didn't think about that. And I am here to do my monthly update. So for those who are new to the channel, then this is something I like to do at the beginning of every month. Just talk about what did I do in the previous month and what do I have upcoming for this month, as well as take the time to thank all those people who chose to subscribe. It is coming out a little bit late today. And as you see, I'm in a different sort of environment here. Normally I'm uh, back over that way where my games are, but it's uh, everything's, we're, we've been undergoing a lot of renovations here in the, um, well, the whole house really. Not that I'm making excuses, but it has been a little bit distracting. So in looking at, uh, well, actually, before I get on to anything, let me do the most important thing, which is thanking those people who have chosen to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Uh, at the beginning of August, I was up to 1,011 subscribers. I'm now up to 1,300, no, 1,311. I'm now up to 1,333. So that is 22 new subscribers in the month of August. And I am so very grateful to all those people who have chosen to hit that subscribe button down below. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to do so now. It really is very helpful to the channel and I do appreciate it. Love to see the channel growing as it helps me validate what I'm doing here, which is trying to help other people to become more aware of the kinds of games we could be playing to educate ourselves and children and students and whoever it is that we would like to help to learn. So in looking back at the month of August, I did get four videos done, one for each week. Uh, the first one I did was the review of the game Fraction City. It's one that I had found in my school and it's uh, it's a kind of a roll and move board game, but rolling with, with options of where you're going and using different fractions and things helps you learn some of those very common fractions. The game had potential, but overall it just wasn't very good. But because of the potential, my second video was talking about how you could take that game and modify it with some different mechanics in the game to make it more viable for use in the classroom. Um, so just some ideas that I'd come up with that if I were going to be using the classroom, these are the kinds of things that I would be doing to make it more um, useful in the class. Uh, then after that, I did a game called uh, Cobalt and Cobblestones. This was a book that was lent to me by a friend of mine. It's an agnostic miniatures game. It's been printed by Osprey, which does a lot of these um, independent publishers. And so Cobalt and Cobblestones has been out for a few years, but only a few years. And it's, got quite a bit of attention but it's a great game for just um, one of these games that you, you're playing a lot with numbers and things to uh, build your teams and forces and stuff like that and any, any of these games which are have those easy introduction points for young kids for anybody who's new to games I love because it's these kinds of things that get the people reading because you have to do all the reading of the rules and then usually there's a lot of math involved in terms of building the teams and forces and things like that so this game is no exception so i did that and then i closed off the month looking at the game subatomic by genius games another one of genius games fantastic um science games around uh subatomic particles building atoms and elements and things like that a lot of great learning in that game as is always with genius games science games so definitely want to check that one out if you are a science teacher so what do i have coming up for the month of september well i am actually going to be doing a playthrough of the game subatomic um let's clear out some of the mess here and i'll get that going right away uh subatomic is i'll be playing a two-player game just against myself so that you can get a sense of the full gameplay if you're kind of curious about the game because when i do the review i just give a very quick sense of the game but this way by doing a playthrough you get a better sense of, of the whole experience so look forward to that one that will also be coming out later on today and um, then following that i'll also be doing a playthrough of kobolds and cobblestones uh, i want to just do a playthrough of that again just to show how a full game of it might look and in this one i'll include the wizards which i didn't explain in the original playthrough so that way again you're just getting a, more of a sense of the game and how it's played Beyond that, I've got two other weeks, which I've got some other games which I'm thinking about putting in, um, some other ideas of things I might want to do, but I always like to hear from the viewers, and if you have any ideas for games you might like to see on the channel, any topics you want me to discuss on 
you know, game strategy implement, not game strategy so much of um, how to play them well, but how to implement them, the strategy of how to implement them into the classroom perhaps, or any kind of pedagogical ideas around game gamifications and stuff. Leave me that message in the comment section below. Love to hear from the viewers. Love helps me give you that relevant content. And you know, if there's anything else you'd like to see on the channel, any comments, criticisms, ideas, thoughts, again, leave me those messages down below and I will respond as soon as I'm able. That's going to wrap it up for today's monthly update. Until next time, I'm Craig Thompson Wood, your host on Teaching with Board Games, saying thanks for coming to the classroom. Are you coming back to school with me?